Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the most interesting video in the last six months. I was waiting to make this video somewhere around end of June. Why? Because this is a very crucial moment uh, during this year. We all know that Jupiter, which represents the jivas, living beings, especially he represents humans because the sign Sagittarius represents human beings, which distinguishes uh, us from animals, which is the ninth house, which is the house of God and spirituality and religion also, rules, laws, regulations. Jupiter has been in Capricorn in stability for some time. And on June 30th, it is going to finally move back into Sagittarius, which is it's small trigon sign so therefore i was just waiting because whenever a planet moves into debilitation the areas which uh, that house uh, the, the that planet uh, rules the areas uh, depending on the lordships like sagittarius and pisces they undergo a sense of uh, helplessness pessimism and uh, negativity and self doubt okay so, therefore, many of you have been writing to me uh, regarding uh, certain areas of your life where you have felt totally helpless, miserable, and uh, hopeless, basically. I would say the word hopeless, okay? Uh, but now, there's a good news that um, those houses which Jupiter rules in your chart, now they will uh, give you a feeling of... Uh, optimism and i would say just one more h-o-p-e hope why do i say this because uh, the mool tricone sign is a uh, extremely powerful sign and uh, sometimes people think exalted planets are the best uh, but sometimes in my opinion i have seen uh, exalted planets are very good only if you are uh, knowing how to use them so I prefer to see a planet in Multricone rather than being in exaltation. Why? Because if, a, if the horoscope does not support the energy of an exalted planet, see it's like uh, there's a terrorist and you give that terrorist a machine gun. So what will that terrorist do? You know, he, he or she will just go on shooting around everybody, right? So therefore, if, if a person has a not so good horoscope or the horoscope has propensity for violence and uh, hatred and anger and all this crazy stuff and then i see the the exalted planets in that person's horoscope can wreak havoc in his or her own life and also in the lives of others okay so therefore uh, whenever i see exalted planets i am very cautious to examine if the energy is harmonious with the chart okay but here in this case uh, it's multricone so our multricone is very beautiful because uh, it it teaches you dharma basically multricone multricone teaches you what what is that exactly which you should do multricone is like uh, it's Im imagine yourself uh, during the day in the day what what's happening you are sleeping and you are doing uh, so sorry you are awake from sleep and you are doing a lot of activities you know you are just imagine the sun rise is going on your sleep is now gone so now you are coming into forefront so that is like multricone and when you are sleeping in the night that is like own sign okay so multricone is also own sign because that planet rules that sign itself but when you say uh, like for jupiter's case pisces is the own sign and uh, Sagittarius is the multricone sign and Cancer is the sign of exaltation. Okay, so therefore today we shall discuss uh, what this means and uh, how do you see how this transit will be. All right. So if you are new to the channel, then uh, please uh, subscribe to it below. And if you want a consultation from me, then please go to the website down. And God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. You must find him today because we are talking of Sagittarius, which is the sign of spirituality. And uh, one special announcement. Uh, the Exotic Astrology Channel family just reached 50,000 subscribers. <laughs> 
So therefore, I would uh, like to thank each and every one of you who have uh, been uh, sticking with me from a long time and even recently, or maybe you have subscribed today, uh, irrespective of your time. And I never thought that uh, I will reach this far, but whatever is the will of God, that is what we follow. And uh, my special gratitude to uh, Nitin Kashyapji from Astro Life Sutras YouTube channel, who also shared a post uh, yesterday uh, appreciating uh, my efforts okay so thank you nitinji uh, great to have people like you and uh, amanji especially who have always supported me throughout this journey and i hope to uh, gain more and more inspiration from people like you okay now jupiter and sagittarius is very harmonious in fact uh, sagittarius is that which uh, gives us a reason to reason to live basically because see as i said in one of my videos uh, the fifth house is the reason why you get up in the morning fifth house yes and if you also check through the zodiac you, you can see what is the fifth house fifth house is uh, originally the fifth sign is leo what happens what is leo leo is ruled by the sun so what happens when the sun rises we get up right so uh, you can understand the fifth house like that so anybody who has a prominent fifth house will always like to be awake mm -hmm. awake means the person will like to uh, do things which makes him or her feel as if uh, there's something going on in this world you know it's not just a boring world actually okay so fifth house is um, a very crucial house in the zodiac in fact it's the most important house now we have uh, the ninth house ninth house is the bhavad bhavam of the fifth house what is bhavad bhavam it's like uh, ninth house is the uh, bhavad bhavam is like arudha arudha means physical manifestation okay so <clears throat> The Arudha of a house is calculated uh, when wherever the Lord is sitting, similarly, same number of houses you go from there. So, so suppose your ascendant Lord is in the fifth. So, Arudha of the ascendant Lord is the uh, Arudha of the ascendant, which means is fifth from fifth, which is the ninth house. Okay. So, similarly, if your, your uh, Lagna Lord is in the third, then third from the third. Okay which is actually the fifth house so if it is in six then six from six which is the 11 so this is how you calculate the arud house so the ninth house is the physical manifestation of the fifth house actually what does it mean physical manifestation which means ninth house which is god and spirituality to the extent that house is active to that extent the most important house which is the fifth house will be showing results because the results of the fifth house always manifests in uh, through the ninth house. Now, I, I don't mean to say this is true for anybody who has Lagnesh in fifth. Okay? Forget about Arudha Lagna and all this. I'm just explaining the concept of Bhavad Bhavan here. So, if you feel that you do not have a reason to get up in the morning, you feel very dry throughout. You know? So, that means like uh, the sun is missing from your life. Anybody who doesn't uh, feel inspired is not motivated in life. It's just bored and sitting in a couch doing nothing. By doing, I don't mean career, but in general, you lack motivation in life. That means the fifth house is maybe not very good, or the fifth house is not being supported by other planets, okay, or maybe other planets are hindering the fifth house. So, <clears throat> This is happening because there is uh, no enlightenment, no awakening. So many times people think, oh, let's uh, get into motivational speaking. Let's hear motivational speakers where uh, nowadays uh, everybody is becoming a motivational speaker. But uh, the number of suicides, depression and all these things are getting up, going up because motivation cannot be obtained externally motivation is a symptom of something else should i repeat motivation cannot be obtained motivation is a result of sattva guna one who is in sattva guna is by default motivated nowadays what is the tendency of people is uh, okay they're feeling bored and down oh, 
it's it's so terrible you know the world is such a wasteful place you know there's nothing good about this world so what what should i do oh i'll type in youtube you know m o t i v a t i o n a l s p e a k e r s or k i n g <laughs> all right so then what happens it's like uh, my guru used to say uh, motivational speaking is like uh, living paycheck to paycheck paycheck to paycheck means okay now i'm feeling very dry very bored and i'm feeling as if nothing is there let me watch one video mm, okay interesting yeah yeah you should be motivated in life yes i will do it yes i can do it yes i will make it wow and then after one day what happens Whoosh, again down <laughs> then again you are you have to watch another video again the same old boring stuff you know you can do it be positive the world is your place you know as in uh, india there is this famous saying you know karlo duniya mutthi mein so uh, you are all in all you are all powerful you are god you are above god you are like too good you are the best thing that have happened in the universe till now so these superficial things are useless uh, beyond a certain extent and that is why you see these days not these days means i don't mean recent uh, happenings but in general from last 20 30 years you have been seeing that number of divorces are increasing number of suicides are increasing number of people who are suffering from depression anxiety all these things these terrible things are increasing day by day moment after moment you know <clears throat> every day so many people are taking their lives or there are so many are under anxiety panic attack why because now these are the symptoms of tamoguna and rajoguna basically so Uh, then what they will do instead of uh, solving the problem they will solve the symptoms so lack of motivation is a symptom it's not a problem actually you are you are lacking motivation because you lack direction in life and who is the one who gives direction it is the guru it is your gurus who will give you direction and the word of the scriptures bhagavad gita okay bhagavad gita gives you the goal the goal of life okay my god let's read a random verse from here which verse has come up today it's 4.42 therefore the doubts which have arisen in your heart out of ignorance should be slashed by the weapon of knowledge armed with yoga o bharata stand and fight krishna is telling this to arjuna okay this is the uh, last verse of the fourth chapter of the bhagavad gita 4.42 so if you see this photo here um, arjuna was also depressed he was also a patient of depression <laughs> and krishna was the doctor okay so doctor and patient so in our life also uh, we need krishna actually so now how do you see krishna you have to see krishna by reading the bhagavad gita and by associating with members of your spiritual community now you may be wondering uh, why am i speaking of all these things uh, when the video was about jupiter uh, reentering sagittarius well this is exactly what you should do because when jupiter entered capricorn suppose jupiter as per your ascendant ruled the 10th house okay or uh, the 6th house or the 2nd house or even the 11th house the money house is basically you might have felt that your career is going down but now depending on your dashas you may feel that now you are actually coming back to the field because uh, remember mool trikon is like as i said you know when you get up in the morning uh, it's like that energy you know it's like the energy of the sun so therefore uh, now is the time that you should take action okay but then what kind of action do you take do you just randomly take some action just do nothing or do everything what do you do so therefore it's very essential that uh, during this period uh, after june 30th you take good counsel from your seniors your advisors your gurus your guides basically okay uh, even in your mundane circle if jupiter is your seventh lord then if you are feeling bit down or bit hopeless or bit helpless about marriage Uh, either you are wanting to get married and not able to get married or you are already married but your marriage is on verge of collapsing uh, then either ways or you feel headless you don't know should you stay with this partner or not okay and 
in that case you must uh, take uh, the right guidance from the right people who are uh, able to guide you by their own experiences okay who have been successful in that area of life and most importantly it is very crucial that now you add a spiritual practice to your life because jupiter will uh, again uh, somewhere i don't know the exact date but november or december this year he will again enter capricorn and then imagine after 12 freaking years he will enter sagittarius so these uh, months these the next five six months these are uh, in my knowledge in my opinion the best months uh, in the next 12 years for spiritual growth so if you have any plan to execute regarding spirituality like uh, many uh, for recently many people have messaged me that uh, they have started doing a lot of spiritual practices and uh, a lot of mantras they have started chanting so this is the best time you can do jupiter is entering multricon imagine jupiter is like uh, it's like jupiter was sleeping and now not even sleeping jupiter was in depression in capricorn <laughs> because sleeping is like pisces okay sleeping doesn't mean the planet is useless sleeping means the person planet is rejuvenating okay so that is why i said uh, own sign is like the planet which is sleeping or the planet is you know uh, staying secluded the person in the planet is not acting the planet is contemplating what i should do or what did i do during the day it, it's like meditation also sometimes but sagittarius imagine jupiter is like you know uh, he has a pen and he is now writing tasks to do what should i do so this is what you should do uh, regarding the houses which jupiter rules in your chart you should sit and make notes and make a plan for the next five months what you should do okay if you are if it is regards to marriage then you set uh, goals set checkpoints with your spouse that okay in the next seven months six months we will evolve our relationship uh, spiritually you know uh, every month we will do this uh, austerity this fasting or this month mantra meditation or we will read the Bhagavad Gita. So it's a fantastic time. Take a resolution that in the next seven months, you will complete the Bhagavad Gita. Okay. Or you will start reading the Srimad Bhagavatam. So these are the things which you should decide. And then you will feel that uh, hope is returning. Okay. Because if you are just uh, superficially, uh, you know, ju just seeing some quotes on positivity or motivation and all this, which people keep doing these days, uh, uh, you will get some motivation and then you will again go, go down. So uh, don't take motivation from any other source other than the Bhagavad Gita. Okay? Or if you are uh, recently one a Christian and asked me that you always keep saying of oh, Bhagavad Gita, can I get the same inspiration from the Bible? Of course you can get. You don't have to ask that to me. It is there by default. All right. Or if you are a Muslim, you can read the Quran and you can get the inspiration from there or the Torah or the Dharmapada or whichever tradition you are belonging to. The holy book from that tradition has been specifically empowered to give you all the motivation that you need. Because so uh, the spiritual uh, scriptures, they don't give motivation. You will never find, you know, Krishna is not telling Arjuna. Oh, Arjuna, don't worry, you know, you can fight. No, Krishna doesn't say all this. Krishna uh, uplifts his soul actually. So when your soul is uplifted, so lack of motivation is a symptom of a diseased soul basically. The soul is like, it's like saying the soul doesn't want to live only. The soul is just existing. It's like a dead corpse, you know, just roaming. Have you seen people, you know, sometimes... Uh, you go, go and you watch, uh, look at their lives, you know, or what they're doing, getting up in the morning, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, how many people liked my posts in Facebook? Mm -hmm. Okay, Th 30 people, okay, okay. What about Instagram? Mm -hmm. 20 more, okay, great, great, great. Ah, what will I post today? How many likes will I get today? Then what do I have to do? Oh, I need coffee, my God. Without coffee, I cannot stay. Mornings are so boring and freaking disgusting and dull, right? So I need this kick from this caffeine, okay? That means uh, the person is under addiction, basically. The person uh, has become a slave of external entities like coffee and tea and all this, you know? And then the person is like, okay, now I have to go to office, you know? 
okay should i take the taxi today or should i take the car or what should i do today mm -hmm. okay oh yeah breakfast time will we have uh, pizza chole bhature or will we have you know whatever <laughs> it's lunch you know we need to have lunch actually now you know, we will have biryani we will have this we will have that oh my god and then, oh, it's 3 p.m. Who's going to work, right? After 3 p.m., it's time to go to party now at 3 p.m. But you can't go to party at 3. So you are just hovering around in the office, not doing any work and expecting promotions. And then in the night, you are going and maybe your wife is there or your husband is there. You're just sitting, talking. Oh, yeah, today this happened, that happened. Yeah, now... <laughs> And then you are just going to sleep. You are, you are living like a dead body, basically. That's not, you're not living, you are existing. There's a big difference between living and existing. Most of the people, uh, they don't live, they are just existing. Why? Because they have to carry the burden of this body. You know, They have to maintain this body. Their body is like a burden. Their husband is like a burden. Wife is a burden. Mother is a burden. Father is a burden. Child is a burden. Grandchildren, everybody is like burden sometimes. Why that happens? Because your soul is diseased. You are you are dead from inside actually. All right. So therefore, now is the time that you can uplift yourself. You can bring back hope into your life. This word H O P E. Okay. So long story cut short. Whatever is there in your dashas will happen. But the thing is, we have to make a resolution in the next five months that we will do serious spiritual practices okay by which we can improve the arudha of the fifth house which is the ninth house okay and when that is improved you will be motivated by default okay so you cannot artificially you know bring motivation you cannot motivation is not like some product in supermarket you should just go and pick it no you can't get it like that Motivation is a symptom of a healthy soul, a living soul, I would say. Not healthy, even just living, okay? Because uh, the scriptures say, you know, Anandamayo Bhyasat, which means the soul is uh, accustomed to unlimited happiness. Ananda, ever, everlasting bliss, actually, eternal pleasure, okay? Satchit Ananda, full of eternity, knowledge, and bliss. So, therefore, if, if you want to remain in bliss always, you have to be connected to the ultimate source of bliss who is Lord Vishnu himself. So therefore, I have started this playlist, uh, Vishnu Sahasranam. If you have not watched, then please go and watch. Okay. And I have videos on Bhagavad Gita and I have also the Srimad Bhagavatam playlist. So please go and watch them uh, instead of watching my other astrology videos. I mean, you can watch them, but uh, now is the time that you do that seriously. Okay. So take a resolution that... From tomorrow, the moment I see this video, I will get up early in the morning and I will do spiritual practices and I will do certain level of austerities like fasting once in a day, uh, yeah, I mean uh, once in a week or sometimes one meal in a day I won't eat, okay, no breakfast uh, for the next six months or something like this. You can take some resolution like this. Uh, depending on your health uh, issues, of course, and I'm not a doctor, I'm not uh, suggesting anything here. Uh, consult your doctor before you do any fasting or something like this. Okay, if you are a patient of diabetes or high blood pressure, or if you have like all this, you know, metabolic syndrome and all this. So, some resolution you take and then you will see that hope will return back to your life. Okay, only then you shall feel that life is worth living. Otherwise, you will just exist and not live. Okay, and if you are interested to watch other videos on Jupiter, I will put it here. All right. Thank you very much for your patience. And if you are new, then please subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who wants to know about hope. When will hope return? All right. And if you want a consultation, please go down to my website below. Okay. What is there with you all the time? Just look to him and you will find him. Just read the Gita. Then you will definitely find. Okay. Thank you.